All right, so uh, we're going to try to do this Facebook thing. I am actually out in the middle of nowhere uh, in the in the hills behind the mill. I don't know if you'll be able to see this okay or not, but I'm sitting out here. There's a waterfall. Uh, this is just a beautiful place to be. And so I'm just going to sit here and we're going to have our, our time of devotions here right now. You know, when I look at this beautiful place all around me that God has made, uh, I'm just astonished by it. I can't believe sometimes that I get to live here in this place. It's just truly, uh, truly amazing. And, uh, you know, being, being quarantined in a beautiful place like this isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world. And uh, as I was walking and just thinking and praying, I just wanted to share with you guys, uh, you know, God made this world for us to discover. And so I'm hoping that maybe, maybe during your time of, of, of quarantine, um, that you'll get a chance to get out and walk around and look at nature a little bit. Just see some of the amazing things that God has made. Uh, when I look at these rocks that I'm sitting on, and I'll show you here, look at, I mean, to me, I'm just, I'm fascinated by the moss, by all these little things that, I mean, that's just amazing to me that all the, all the different things that grow and, and how uh, this whole, uh, all the different animals that eat these different plants, and there's, there's trout in this stream right here. And God's made all of this. And, and if I was Adam and I was walking through this area the very first time and everything just discovery new. I remember when I bought this property and I was walking around back here and I just, I couldn't believe that there was a potential that I would get to live in a place that is this beautiful. I mean, it's just stunning to sit here. These trees go up, you know, the, bank, the, the cliff is probably 40 feet above my head. And then there's trees that go up 60 feet beyond that. It's just amazing. And that's how Adam would have walked through the Garden of Eden, just, just completely in awe of what his creator had made. And so uh, during our season of quarantine, I just I hope that you'll have that opportunity to, to get out and walk and, and just see the world that God has made. I hope we get some nice warm days where you can get out of your house and, and enjoy and worship God. I can worship God right out here. It's not the same as worshiping at the church. And I wish I could be with everybody. I miss everybody like crazy. And I can't wait for the time when we get to be back together. But for right now, uh, I'm just trying to find ways to worship God uh, as I'm just sitting out here in creation and just enjoying it. David, in, I think it's in Psalm 63, he says, I, I've seen you in your sanctuary. Like, I, I know what it's like to worship you in the sanctuary. Uh, but he wrote that when he was actually far away and, and out in the wilderness and just wandering and, and probably being chased by King Saul. And, uh, and David, he, he would talk about how the, like a deer would long for the, for the water. That's how he longed for God. And, and so this evening, uh, you know, we know what it's like to worship God in the sanctuary and to see him in the sanctuary. Uh, but I want you to have the opportunity to get out, walk around in the woods a little bit and, uh, and see what God has done and see what God is doing just in the world, the, the created world that we get to see around us. It's just truly amazing. If you have any prayer requests, anything you'd like to share with us, uh, please uh, put it in the comments uh, under this video. And uh, that way that everybody in the church can just uh, pray, you know, be appropriate with what you share and how much you're willing to share uh, in the Facebook comments. But man, uh, we'd love to be able to pray for you. Uh, on uh, this coming Sunday, we're going to have uh, another YouTube service. And so uh, please check that out. There's a children's sermon this week. We're trying to, to do a, a, as good of a job as we can at, at making those, uh, those videos uh, for you each Sunday. Um, I wanna say a word of prayer right now. And uh, just as we kind of close up our time of devotion, um, and let's be, let's be thinking like David. Hey, we, God, we know what it's like to, to worship you in the sanctuary, but now let us worship you uh, just in the created world, the, the awesome nature that's all around us. So I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to just pan around and show you this, this beautiful area. Father, we thank you for your great love toward us. Uh, we thank you for Jesus who died for our sins. We thank you for this beautiful world and all that you have made. And it demonstrates your wisdom, and it demonstrates your glory. And so uh, we give you praise and glory for this beautiful earth that you've made. And we thank you for that we get to live right here in western Pennsylvania and get to witness so much of the beauty that you've created. And so I pray that as uh, we get a chance to get out and walk around and see the things that you've made, that we would find our hearts being turned to worship towards our Creator. We ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, I just want to kind of pan around here, let you see everything.
All right, so that's my devotional right here from the waterfall at the mill. God bless you all.